So right now I'm at press.barnesandnoble.com forward slash print on demand and um, this is their description page that describes their process. It sounds easy. Choose your format, upload your file, print and ship. They have a nice little um, calculator here that you can calculate print cost. I did it and it seems reasonable. I mean similar to create space or something else, 519 a copy. My main concern right now I'm trying to find a printer for advanced review copies so I wanted to see if that was um, a reasonable copy. And I'm going to click get started and just show you the process real fast. I'm going to say tester arc It carried in everything from my estimator, which is nice. So if you needed, it looks like if you needed a formatter, it's going to walk me through it. But I already have an interior file. So I'm going to skip this. Let's you review the interior file. You can scroll through everything, make sure it all looks good. I'm going to skip that for now so I don't bore you to death. All right, and you can, this is nice, you can upload front and back cover files and it will work with a spine, or if you have a designer, you can upload the full cover file. That's going to show a preview here, and what's really nice is they show the cover and they show where the spine is so that you can make sure that um, the letters don't go where they shouldn't go, you know, that they fit inside the spine. And as you can see, this is really tight, but it does fit, um, so that looks really nice. That's a nice preview feature. You're going to click here, save and continue, and then review this before you place your order and it gives you the actual price which is really nice. Our team will review your book details before you order. Hit submit for approval and say okay. Alright, so I will come back once I get that email and I'll let you know how long that took. Okay, um, it's been less than 24 hours. I submitted this request um, at 1230 and the next morning at 915 I got this email from Barnes & Noble it says good news your book has been approved what's really nice again about this is you can order copies of a book that is not for sale and the reason why you that would be of interest to you is if you're doing a special edition that you don't want people to be able to buy on Amazon or that you want to use exclusively for giveaways or if you're doing advanced review copies of a book that is not published yet, but you want to have copies either to take to a signing or to, um, to give out to reviewers and bloggers. So I'm going to click here. So here you can see the print copy and the ebook copy. So they keep them separate. And it adds it to my shopping cart. I'm going to click View Shopping Cart. And again, it's charging me that $4.36, I believe. Let's see if it lets me type in a quantity. It does, perfect. So I chose 50. I'm just going to see what kind of um, shipping and handling it charges me to compare it. Okay, so it will pull your shipping information from your Barnes & Noble account. You can easily edit that here. Um, delivery options. It says two days or more before shipping. I'll be curious to know what or more is, <laughs> but it's nice that you have several different options, standard, express, or expedited. $30 of shipping for 50 books is not bad at all. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So my order total will be 268 and you can click submit order. I'm going to do a test run, see um, how long it actually takes before they ship but this is pretty fast. Four to six business days um, is pretty fast and I'm happy about that. So you can hit submit order 
and your order is complete. That's it. That's the entire process, how to order our author copies on Barnes & Noble Press. Now. now, let's say that you want to list this book for sale. Um, and I normally publish paperbacks through Amazon's KDP print platform, and then also I use Ingram Spark for expanded distribution. But if it's really important for you to get in Barnes & Noble, it would be interesting to see if you publish through their press if they're more than like more likely to stock you, which would be an interesting experiment to do. I'm going to go back to the email I received from them. And here it said, put your book on sale. I'm going to click that link and see if it takes me somewhere different. It looks like it didn't. It looks like it took me right here. So I'm really curious how I make this book on sale. And what I'm going to guess I do is I'm going to guess that I go to clone book. Click sell your book. Because if you notice, there was a personal tag on that other one. And then I'm wondering if it pulls everything back. And if it does not, then that's a little ridiculous. Because I don't understand why I would clone a book. But maybe it brings everything else back. So this is the first thing about Barnes & Noble Press that I'm not in love with is um, it would have been nice when I cloned the file if it brought everything over. But um, I'll let you take it from here. Bottom line is you're going to go through and do everything we just did again, except this time it is considering it a for sale book versus a personal book. And you will, at the end of this process, choose your sales price. So that, that really is the only difference. I'll let you get to it. Happy publishing.